Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to Cooking 101. Today we're going to make Paxio na Pampano. One of my favorite, favorite um, Filipino dish. This afternoon we have three pieces of Pampano fish. I just cut them in half. And the ingredients for my Paxio na Pampano. I have here some Thai chili. This is optional. If you guys don't want to put any Thai chili, that's fine. I also have one head of garlic here, chopped, two tablespoons of the Noor seasoning mix. This one is two whole white onions, some ginger, whole black peppercorn, and also we're going to season our fish with the garlic, pepper, and herbs, the cool running. Regular vinegar. I'm using dato puti. You guys can get this one in any Asian supermarket And also we're going to use the rice vinegar Let's start I have my wok here. This is where I'm going to cook our Paxiu na pampano The first thing we're going to do is we're going to layer all of our ingredients We're going to start with the onions Again guys, this will this will serve like a blanket so the fish won't stick on our wok. Let's add a little bit more. Next, our ginger. Whole black pepper. garlic Thai chili and we're going to put our fish And then we're going to do the same layer uh, like we did earlier. So we're going to start with the onions. The garlic. I mean the ginger. The rest of our Thai chili. The black peppercorn, and the garlic. Okay friends, step two, we're going to season our fish. One cup of water. One cup of the regular vinegar. Our, our Cool Runnings seasoning mix. Our Noor seasoning mix. Guys, sorry, I forgot to mention about extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put some olive oil, probably 3 to 5 tablespoons. 
This will give a good flavor to our paksil. At the same time, it gives a good smell. And I'm using the Himalayan pink salt. If you guys don't have Himalayan pink salt, you can just use the regular salt, the regular iodized salt. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, we're just going to mix a little bit. Get the seasoning on top. Guys, it smells very good. Okay. Now we're going to cover it. And we're going to let it simmer. So we're going to let this one simmer to 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, friends, let's check our fish after 20 minutes. Oh, you guys, look at that. Let's give this one a good mix. Actually, we're not really going to mix it. We're just going to put some of the stuff on top of the fish. Just like that. The next thing we're going to do, sorry guys, I forgot to mention again, we're going to put some scallions or green onions. And then we're also going to add three tablespoons of the rice wine vinegar. So I got it here. So all we need is three tablespoons. All right. And let's mix it again. Guys, it smells so good. It it's it always make a big difference if you put some oil on your paksil. It can be olive oil, vegetable oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, any kind of oil that you guys want to use. Doesn't have to be um doesn't have to be extra virgin olive oil. But if you guys have access to the olive oil, it's much better. Okay, so we're just going to let this one simmer again for another 20 minutes. And then I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay friends, this is our finished product. This is our paksiyo na pampano fish. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day everyone. Have a blessed night wherever you are in the world. Thank you guys again for watching and to all of my new subscribers, thank you guys for subscribing. Again, have a blessed night everyone and may the good Lord bless us all.